Welcome everyone to today's video. I wanted to raise some awareness to some often overlooked topic in reviews of like ultra thin and light amazing latest and greatest laptops. That is the boring charger. These chargers are usually not mentioned and um, maybe there's some room for improvement. So today I wanted to take a quick look at third party gallium nitride chargers that promise higher efficiency and thus more compact charging experience, especially while traveling. So what is the difference with these new chargers? You might ask. So gallium nitride is another semiconductor material that rose through prominence in the 90s through manufacturers of LEDs. Gallium nitride was used to create the first white LEDs, blue lasers, full color LED displays usable at daylight, Blu-ray players for producing the blue light that is used to read data from a DVD. So why is it superior to silicon otherwise used in good old fashioned switching power supplies? All semiconductor material have properties that is called the band gap. The energy range in a solid where no electrons can exist and simply put the band gap is related to how well a solid material can conduct electricity and gallium nitride has a 3.4 EV band gap while silicon has 1.12. This means that the wider band gap of gallium nitride can sustain higher voltages and higher temperatures than silicon and some people even say maybe it might find its way in many more semiconductor products and all the other use cases today. But with that being said, let's unbox it and take a look how this compares in the real world here for our power delivery charger use case. As you can see, in my opinion, unfortunately, Enka copied the look of the Apple charger a little bit, um, a little bit unfortunate. And then I wish they also would have copied this removable power plug here for international travel, which is uh, at least not immediately removable as you see. But otherwise um, super compact and that is also the difference if you travel with even the cable, like literally this power cable is already uh, for traveling the size here of just the charger and then of course here the rest of it. And nowadays of course with USB-C you can use it for everything. And additionally, in this particular model, you can also charge your smartphone, which is super convenient and something not even your MacBook power supply can do. So I tested this already a little bit and obviously no problems, it just works. Size-wise, as you can see, it literally is the size of just this cable. And also with this modular removable cable, you have a cable for data transfer and not this fixed cable that is otherwise only used for charging. So, so far I used this already, um, it just work convenient smartphone charging. And last but not least, I also wanted to point out how non-innovative companies, including Apple is like, yeah, obviously there is no USB-C, but no smartphone charging and stuff. But even Microsoft here, this is Surface. They had already this charging here years ago for another smartphone, for example, however, um, and yeah, size-wise. However, in this particular case, I really wonder that Microsoft didn't go the whole way because this special Microsoft dock connector here has USB, obviously, and uh, not to mention display port and stuff. But I really wonder that Microsoft didn't innovate a little bit more and made this USB port a dockable, usable USB port. So basically, they, all they had to do is add a couple of wires in there and then while charging with a power supply would have at least a usable USB port. As dump power supply as this is, it's really an, unfortunately an opportunity missed in this innovative case. So if you need a new replacement or traveling charger, this gallium nitride might be something you want to look into. And to vendors, they always try to market themselves as the most innovative and yeah, I wish they would also innovate a little bit more, additionally to this waste of 
screen real estate here maybe makes this rather 16 by 10 or 3 to 2 but that's it for today and i hope you learned something